And I mean, Liam Fox was was just talking, and he said that there shouldn't be a general election because the Conservative Party were voted in by the people on their manifesto in 2019. Well, in that manifesto, the Conservative Party were voted in on lowering taxes, and now, you know, under Rishi Sunak, the the level of taxes in this country is the highest it's been. Well, decades. Let's, let's, I want to talk then about Rishi Sunak with Akila, if um, I can. So, Akila, you think Rishi Sunak is the right person. What's your reaction to what you were hearing there from Fiona? Well, I think the Conservative Party is also a party of pragmatists in the long term. But I think cutting taxes at this point of time was uh, not the, not what the market expected, not what the economy needed. Uh, so that's the way I look at it. And. Rishi Sunak coming in without, some are saying, a mandate. Do you believe that he can come in and unite the party and not have a general election? Well, I think within the party he has had quite broad support. So he has support, uh, you know, from people who have traditionally not backed him, such as Kemi Badenoch, Suella Braverman. So I do see him as a uniting figure for now. And I, I do hope that, uh, you know, it continues and then we sort of the conservatives see the country through this difficult economic period. I think it should be country before party at this point. Just need to say goodbye to viewers watching us on BBC World around the globe. Thank you for your company. Bye bye. So back to you, Fiona. I mean, um, Akila is saying the Tories are a party of pragmatism. What you're saying about what you want the Tory party agenda to be, it was not deliverable currently, was it? Is that, it doesn't necessarily mean it couldn't happen in the future, but currently with high inflation and what's happening with cost of living, um, is that basically what destroyed it for now? Well, like I say, I, I don't know. I mean, I've, I've listened to um, economists who are experts in their field, like Patrick Minford, and in the leadership contest with Liz Truss, he said that her her policies, um, her ideas, her principles could work. Um, and similarly, when even when the mini budget was announced, he said it could work. We're not even talking about um, cutting taxes in the mini budget. They were talking about not raising the taxes further. And when you look at corporation tax going up to 25%, how is that going to help small businesses like I run um, after these years that we've had with COVID? How is that? It's going to make us the most least economically attractive country in the world. How is this going to attract businesses to come and settle here? And these businesses employ people, um, give people money that they can spend and invest or save. You know, having people keep more of their hard-earned money, that goes back into the economy and it's better. It's going to help with the cost of living problems that we're facing at the moment. Fiona Mouncey and Akila Jairam, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Well, we're live in Downing Street. There are three hours still to run on this leadership contest. The momentum very much behind Rishi Sunak. He now has the confirmed support of half of his party. We'll keep you updated with all of the developments right now, though. Let's catch up with the weather with Carol. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.